Hey, Miss Sandra. Thanks so much for interviewing um, with us today. Yeah, no problem. Can you tell us a little bit about the different jobs you have on campus? Sure. Um, so I first started crosswalking, and then from there I started doing a sub position in kindergarten. And then after that, um, I did a paraprofessional job, and I've kind of just stuck with that. I'm in third grade. I've been with the little girl since kindergarten. And now um, I'm doing the gate. So if you guys see me out there, that's probably where you see me is at the front gate. And I greet all the kids when they come in in the morning. Awesome. That's great. And we love that you're out there and such a friendly face for everyone I love to it. See. Love it. What's your favorite part of working at an elementary school? Okay. That's really easy. I love the kids. Love my job. I used to have a job where I worked with a bunch of adults. It was a human resource position. And so I find it's much easier dealing with kids than it is with adults. They make me smile every day. Um, I'm a big kid myself, so I love working with the kids. It's they make me laugh you. every day. I love it. Good. What is your favorite book or subject? I love to read. And ever since I've had a kid, I've kind of gotten back into children's books. Uh -huh. And so I'm really into an author called Jerry Spinelli. I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but he has some super cool books. Um, Maniac McGee is probably one of his most popular one. Um, third grade angels, fourth grade rats. And right now I'm reading one called Ooh, who ran my underwear up at the, the flag flagpole oh, it's awesome. really good book <laughs> so if any of you guys are interested he's a super good author i also like beverly cleary yep. she's one of my favorites um letters to mr henshaw i think so a book like that is a really good book to read so if you guys want to read that one it's a really fun book Those to read great recommendations mm -hmm. thank you can you tell us something interesting about you miss sandra okay mrs haladin <laughs> i had to go back into the memory bank for this one so I was trying to think of something that nobody really knows about me. Since social media is out there and you post stuff on Facebook, sure. people see stuff about you and know stuff about you. So years ago when I was in my 20s, I used to do something called Zoonies. So I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Zoonies. I don't know what that is. These are Zoonies and these are my very first pair from 1994. I'm aging myself. And these are what you do when you learn how to spin fire. So I used to spin fire in my 20s. Wow. Yeah, I never did it for a job or in shows. I just did it for fun with all my friends. And so I don't spin fire anymore, but I still zoony every now and again. <laughs> And so it's you super fun. And then you yeah, can you yeah. Do a little demonstration? I don't know if I could do a Look demonstration you. for you. Yes. And the reason why is because they're broke. These ones are broke. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so I have a newer pair, but I didn't bring my newer well, pair. Show us how it works. You like so you just put nice. your fingers in like this. Uh -huh. So you go like that. Okay. And then you go like this. Uh -huh. And then you just oh, and start so zooming. Like uh -huh. That is so cool. Yeah, and then okay. you have two going, and then when you really go, then you put like a little light on here at nighttime. Oh. And then it lights up like what fire would look okay. like. And then from there, you got to light it up, and then you go on okay. fire. Miss Sandra, we are totally taking advantage so. of your skills with, the, um, <laughs> with Starstruck and the end of the year talent show. Get ready. I will <laughs> practice, and I will do a talent show for you guys, but I've got to practice on that. Right. It's been a while. Miss Sandra, you're the best. Thank you so much for awesome. today. Thank Bye, kids. Bye, everyone.